Yo, what's good, Griffin One Three here back in the day, and today, guys, we are here for another hashtag Torben Tuesday. For those of you guys unaware of what Torben Tuesday is, the Tuesday before Playground Games does their monthly series live stream about all the goodies that we can expect for the Forza Horizon 4 universe. What we end up getting is an image very similar to this one over on their Twitter account, with clues of what we can expect to see in the upcoming update. So without further ado, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to break down the clues in this image and see if we can figure out what is coming in the next update. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. So starting things off, let's go ahead and take a look at the monitors at the desk because normally there's some clues down there. Taking a look at the first monitor, what we see is the advanced search menu for the auction house. Now, I don't really see anything special about this monitor, but what it could mean is that maybe we are going to be receiving some auction house updates. There have been some complaints with the new way the auction house works, so maybe they might be ending up reverting it back to how it was, or they could be expanding on it to try and fix some of the corrections that a lot of people have had issues with. One of the things that a lot of people have seemed to have issues with is when they have a $10 million car in their garage, but they can't seem to actually ask a $10 million price tag for it. Well, the thing is, though, is with this, is people don't normally pay $10 million for those cars because you can get them in wheel spins and that kind of drives the value down. So a lot of people are like, why can't I sell my $10 million car for 10 million credits? Well, because no one's gonna pay 10 million credits for it, that's why. Because the way the auction house system worked was essentially it looked at how often they were being sold and what the price they were actually being sold for to make sure that they could come up with a reasonable price. Maybe they're gonna be adjusting this a little bit We'll have to see what comes out of the live stream. So then we move on to the second monitor, and all we see is a black box that says soon. We also see this written up on the whiteboard as well, but we'll get to that here in a little bit. Now, what is going on here? Who knows what on earth this could be? Some people have speculated that it could be an expansion of some kind, or maybe it's a new car. But the problem is, is that they couldn't even give us a hint for that car because it could be unreleased. It could be a brand new car coming to the world, kind of like what we had with, I think it was the Porsche Macan Turbo that we got a couple months ago where Playground Games had to actually delay the announcement of the vehicle because the problem was is the car hadn't actually been fully announced yet. Yeah, it was a Porsche Macan Turbo, so a lot of us didn't really care all that much. A lot of people were, were expecting the Porsche Taken, but we didn't get that either. So who knows what this could be? Maybe it's a new Ferrari or Lamborghini or something along those lines. I will get to those here in a little bit, but those are also up on the board. We got some clues that could be leading us to believe that we're going to get a new Ferrari and a new Lamborghini. That's going to be dope. Moving over to the third monitor, all we see is a Google search for something that looks like maybe it's nuts or, or pasta. I, I have no idea. The screen is way too blurry. I cannot make it out. If somehow one of you guys figure this out, Leave a comment down below. I will update it in the description if anything changes, if we're able to actually figure this clue out at all. But right now, the screen is way too blurry. You can't read it. I almost can make out like 13 types of, and that's about all I can get. That is about all I can get out of this. Other than that, who knows what on earth this monitor means. Now, something else that's kind of unusual is we actually get a fourth monitor this time around. Normally, we don't actually see any fourth monitors. But the only thing that we see on this monitor is the Festival Drag Strip. We see the minimap specifically for the Festival Drag Strip. When I first saw this, it almost looked like the start. Like when you actually go into the menus and you set up the race. It almost looks like that point had been moved closer to the actual start of the drag race. And that was one thing I was thought was kind of bizarre in Horizon 4. Is they had the start of the drag race in the middle of the drag strip. I always thought that was kind of bizarre and I always thought they should move it, but I can also see why they had it that way because there's a race literally right next to the drag strip. So maybe they're going to be doing some kind of rearrangement of those to make it a little bit more comprehensible. I, I, I don't know why they would wait until this long to do it, but you know, maybe that's what they're doing. Maybe that is what they are doing. So the final thing over on the desk, if you look underneath the first monitor on the left hand side you'll actually see a little image of a car. Now, this actually does have some possible meaning to it because I don't remember ever seeing this car in any of the Torben Tuesdays. But what's special about it is this is a special 1992 Forza Horizon 4 Edition E30 M3. 
that's what this car is. It's a special Hot Wheels, which maybe means that we're going to be getting new Hot Wheels cars coming to Forest or SN4. Or possibly, like I was saying earlier, some people speculating that there's maybe an expansion. We might end up seeing some kind of Hot Wheels expansion like what we had in Forza Horizon 3. So then we move up to the whiteboard and on the upper left hand side we see Friday. What on earth is Friday? Well I'll tell you what is Friday. Friday is the start of X019. Actually I believe it starts on Thursday but Friday is probably the day that Playground Games is up and that's why maybe they're being a little bit more vague about things is they're kind of trying to speculate to us that hey you need to watch X019 to get some really really awesome information i will be watching for sure i will be paying attention to the news trying to figure out what all's going on but underneath friday there's a couple of codes the first one is 157-494-2400 and the next one is 157-511-5200 now at first what i thought is maybe these were share codes for blueprint races so i went into the blueprints i checked them that is not the case it does kind of suck i was a little disappointed in that i was hoping that maybe they would give us some kind of clue other than that i have no idea what these numbers could be if you guys have any idea at all leave a comment down below the closest thing right now that i could think of is that maybe they're a phone number i don't even know what area code 157 would be but i can actually tell you i don't think there is an area code in the united states that has a one because a lot of phones like my work phone for example you have to hit nine to dial out and then every number that you're dialing you have to press one so if you were to do that you would hit nine to dial out one one and you dial 911 right away so that is not a good thing right there so i don't think they're a phone number or anything like that because there's no phone number with an area code that starts with a one moving down we have some kind of gamer or not gamer but like game designer jargon going on they always seem to put something like this and only like the really truly special people can somehow get it and oftentimes nobody gets it. I have no idea what this is but you see like config and it's going into some kind of cloud. Maybe this is like something maybe it's like saying that you know hey we're going to have project X cloud compatibility with Forza Resident 4. Some people were talking about that and then it somehow moves it into the game client. I, I have no idea absolutely no clue what on earth this could mean then just below that what we have is a list with car one car two and car three car one and car two are actually put into brackets and on the other side of that bracket is a triangle then going over to the right of it we actually see a graph and on this graph we have a line at the y-axis that actually has a triangle on it so i have no idea what this could mean uh, maybe car 1 and car 2 are related somehow maybe they're very similar uh, it could be that maybe what we're going to be getting is a coupe and a convertible version of the same car something along those lines like maybe uh, oh what car out there's got a coupe and a convertible like maybe a BMW M3 coupe and a BMW M3 convertible something along those lines I will say this we're probably not going to be a BMW by the way but uh, those are just used as an example. Moving up to the upper right of the whiteboard, we see something that is very, very interesting. Now, this could be a reference to the simple fact that we're maybe going to have Italian theme going on this week. Or it could be a brand new car. I'm going to mostly go with a brand new car. Just because I want to speculate about something that would be absolutely amazing. So what we see is we see knee weakness and palm sweat in a correlation and a graph that goes up to the sweater incident so you guys all know the song you know his knees weak palms are sweaty there's vomit on his sweater already mom's spaghetti he's nervous but on the surface he looks calm and ready to drop bombs but he keeps on forgetting what he wrote down the whole crowd goes so loud he opens his mouth but the words won't come out he's choking now everybody's choking now clocks run out time's up over oh man I, I love that song, guys. I freaking love 8 Mile. It is absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm sorry you guys had to live through my terrible, terrible singing. I really, really am sorry for that. But uh, you guys got to see me rap a little bit. <laughs> oh, God. But anyway, what this is, of course, 8 Mile sung by Eminem. So, like I was saying, Mom's Spaghetti could be the reference to the fact that we're going to have Italian cars. That it's going to be Italian-themed. But... If we go with who sung the song, Eminem, 
of course, that's two M's. What car out there has two M's in it? Hmm. Oh, I know. How about the Mercedes McLaren SLR? Wouldn't that be awesome if finally they brought the SLR back to Forza? Like, it's been in previous Forza games. And in fact, it was even found in the game coding of Forza Horizon 3. And people were even claiming that it was drivable. The people who actually broke the Horizon 3 code were claiming that you could get into this car and drive it around. So why isn't it in the game yet? There's probably some kind of licensing issue. Maybe they finally got it worked out so we can have the SLR finally in Horizon 4. Wouldn't that be a great Christmas gift? Oh my god, that would be absolutely amazing. Moving down, we're going to skip over the cars for now. These are the set of brand new cars. We're going to skip over those. And we're going to go to what's just beneath them. And what we see is we see HOT, and then we see TG with a circle and a line through it. And of course, we all pretty much know what this means. The Bone Shaker and the Tractor are finally banned. These vehicles are going to be banned from online competitive play, which honestly, in my opinion, that kind of sucks. Because there's always going to be a dominant vehicle. And even though these were considered to be the best cars in the game, they're, they're not. They are not. There are better cars out there. Believe me. Like, for example, the Bone Shaker. I made a video all about the Bone Shaker and how it's not this undeniable, absolute beast of a car. There is a car that's worse than the Bone Shaker, and that car is a DLC car. Like, everybody can get their hands on the Bone Shaker. You have to buy the other car. It'll essentially make it a play-to-win vehicle, and that does suck. I haven't really done any evidence or testing on the track tour, but there's probably something that's very, very similar. A much better car than the track tour. But who knows? Like, they're, they're banned from competitive play now. That, that's all we can really gather from this. Then, just beneath that, we have something about subtitles. I've been hearing kind of word that maybe there's been some issues with subtitles and all that sort of stuff in the game. Like, some people were saying, like, you know, I picked my character's name, but everyone refers to me by the wrong name. Uh, something along those lines. Maybe they're going to be fixing that. I don't know. Let, let's hope for the best on that. If you were experiencing that issue, although you're probably not watching my channel because for most of us in English-speaking countries, it, it, it's been pretty good. But for those people who have been in some of the other speaking countries like Brazil or Japan or anything like that, apparently they have had some issues with the subtitles because, well, it happens. So finally, we are going to get to the cars, all the brand new cars that are going to be coming to Forza Horizon 4 with the next update. Pretty much we know what the manufacturers are going to be. We don't know what the models are going to be and we don't really have any clues as to what the models are going to be. So I'm going to be speculating a lot on here and mostly I'm going to be sticking with brand new cars. There are a couple older cars that I'm going to throw on the list, but we'll go ahead and stick to new cars for the most part. So what we've got going on is we see Fur, Fur, ATS, and Lamb. And then we have another one of those soon boxes right next to it. Which almost leads me to believe that maybe one of the cars that we're going to be getting is a car that has not even been revealed yet. And that's why they're delaying the live stream. They're delaying some things until that car is actually revealed and they can tell us about it. That would be kind of awesome because what it appears to be is that we're going to get two Ferraris, an ATS, and a Lamborghini, and it's quite possible that one of those cars has never been revealed. That will be absolutely freaking amazing. That will be so amazing. I really hope that that is the case. But right now, let's actually go ahead and break down some of the cars that these could be. So let's go ahead and start off with Ferrari. Of course, there is the number one Ferrari that most people have been asking for, and that is the 488 Pista. For me, honestly, I could kind of care less about the Pista because in all actuality, we already have a 488 in the game. So why not just tune it up to be the Pista? I mean, it's it's a track-ready version of it. I mean, it's got some aerodynamic stuff for it, but overall, they look very, very similar. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's not actually the 488 Pista. Maybe in another game, we'll end up getting the Pista because, I mean, it's not entirely impossible. Like, we've got the 458 Italian, and then we've got the 458... Oh, God, I can't remember what it is. <laughs> That's bad. I think it's a Stradale, a 458 Stradale. I, I have no idea. I can't remember off the top of my head. But, yeah, it's not impossible for this to happen. 
it's just semi unlikely after that we have the ferrari sf90 which is another car that a lot of people have been wanting i don't think it's going to be this one simply because the fact that uh the sf90 i think is still mostly in a concept phase i'm not entirely sure if it's actually made it to production i believe it's mostly a concept and it, it wouldn't be impossible we've had concepts before like we had the uh the idx concept we have had the nissan titan concept so why not a Ferrari concept? I mean, it's entirely possible. Next up is a car that I actually think is more likely to happen, but I'm still kind of leaning away towards it, and that is the F8 Tributo. This car would be absolutely amazing. I would love to see the Tributo come into the game. I think the F8 looks absolutely amazing. Now, honestly, I don't know any of the specs on it, but it is definitely a really, really cool car, and it, I would see this making it into the game before the SF90 or the 488 Pista. Honestly, I'm kind of hoping that the SF90 will end up being a cover car for like Motorsport 8 or Horizon 5. That's really kind of what I want. So I'm willing to hold off on it. But uh, the F8 Tributo I could actually see being a possibility. So finally we come to the last car that I actually think is most likely to be coming into the game. And that is the Ferrari Portofino. And I actually believe that this car is not just going to be car one. But it's also going to be car two if you guys remember back we had that clue that basically said that or it had car one and car two in brackets maybe showing that they're kind of related somehow or maybe they're actually the same car well what i think is going on is i believe that we're going to get two different versions of the ferrari portofino because of this clue right now the ferrari portofino is a hardtop convertible only that is the only variant that you can get this car in well just today Ferrari posted over on their Instagram page a picture that says La Nueva Dolce Vita. I know I'm butchering that so bad. La Nueva Dolce Vita, which means the new sweet life. And a lot of people have been saying that this is in reference to a brand new version of the Ferrari Portofino because test mules have been seen out and about for a coupe version of the Ferrari Portofino. So I think we might end up seeing a hardtop convertible or one with the top down. So we might have like an Inspider format. And we will also have a hardtop coupe of the Ferrari Portofino. And of course the other thing is this could be a car that we don't entirely know about yet because we have the soon blocks all going up. It could be a car that's to be announced here soon because right now the Dubai Auto Show is going on and you know who's there? Ferrari. After that, we'll move down to ATS, which I had never heard of ATS until today, but a lot of people over in the forums and on Reddit were very helpful and were able to help me figure out what ATS is. There is a company that used to be around back in the 60s. It lasted one year and then it went bankrupt. And that was Automobile Turismo eSport. So that was an Italian manufacturer and they were kind of based on Ferrari, like a bunch of like Ferrari designers actually were the ones who created the company. And then they went bankrupt almost immediately. <laughs> so, yeah, not too terribly successful. But back then, the only car that they actually made was the ATS 2500 GT. So, it is possible that we'll end up seeing this. However, though, in 2017, the company was revitalized. It was brought back to life. And they introduced a brand new car which was the ATS GT. Honestly, this car looks pretty damn awesome. I, in my opinion, it looks absolutely amazing. It kind of looks almost to me like a cross between the McLaren GT as well as the new C8 Corvette. I honestly see both of those cars in it. In fact, the first time I actually saw a picture of the ATS GT, I actually thought, wow, that's a C8 bet. But I don't think that's actually going to be the case. And that is the car that I believe most likely we're gonna get is going to be the ATS GT. However, though, just a couple months ago, back in September, ATS revealed that they have a brand new car, and this one is a race car. It is their return to racing, because that's why they all started back in the day with the 2500 GT. It was a race car. So ATS, though, is returning to racing with the brand new RR Turbo. So that's always a possibility as well, but I think it's a little too new for it to make its way into Forza, but you never know, these things can happen. Then finally we come up to the last brand, which is of course Lamborghini. Now recently, actually like just a couple days ago, 
Forza RC posted on their Twitter account that they are partnering up with Lamborghini for the Forza RC finale. So that is pretty awesome. But at the Forza RC finale, they are going to have a Lamborghini Evo on display. Of course, that being the Huracan Evo. And that's a possibility of a car that we could be seeing coming into the game. No other game on the planet right now has the Lamborghini Evo. Plus, it's going to be involved with Forza RC. So why not bring it into the game? It's going to be a perfect opportunity to do so. The other thing is, though, is the Evo is kind of the little brother to the Performante. So a lot of people, of course, would rather have the Performante than the Evo because the Performante is a lot more aggressive looking. It's got more aerodynamic bits on it. It's more powerful. It's got better handling, etc., etc. And of course, I would like to see the Performante more than the Evo, but either one of them I would actually be okay with. It would just be another Huracan, though, and... I kind of see that falling into deal with like the 488 Pista, but the thing is though is everybody and their mom keeps begging for the Performante, so at this point I could see Forza caving and just giving us what we want at this point. I, I could see that being a possibility. The other car that some people were actually recommending as well would be the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. Now I again I think that this kind of falls in that 488 Pista realm where it's essentially a modified car of a Thing that we already have in the game like i mean we got the lamborghini aventador that has the wide body kit available for it then we have the lamborghini aventador sv i do not see forza bringing in a third lamborghini aventador i really really do not although of course the svj is a little bit more aggressive than the sv they still look very very similar and the sv of course is still very very aggressive another car that people talked about was the lamborghini sc18 which is a one-off concept that cost five million dollars and this was built by lamborghini squadra corsa in conjunction with a customer now the problem is though this is a one-off car forza scans all of their vehicles so getting permission from the owner of this car is going to take a lot of work it's not entirely impossible but it is very, very difficult, so I wouldn't hold your breath for the SD18. But I will say, the SD18 looks absolutely phenomenal. It's like a Benito had sex with a freaking Sesto Elemento. I mean, it is absolutely crazy. There's one more car that a lot of people were suggesting, and this is the Lamborghini Scion. Of course, this is Lamborghini's new hybrid hypercar. But the thing about it is, although there is a model available that they have and running and all that sort of stuff, I still believe that this car is still in a concept phase, that the actual production version is not yet ready. So even though they do plan on making this into a production vehicle, I don't believe it's quite ready for Forza yet, where we can bring it into a game. I do believe that this car will be in Forza at some time in the future. I just don't think it's going to be next week. Then finally, there's one vehicle that I'm going to throw out here because a lot of you guys will probably realize I haven't mentioned an SUV yet. And honestly, we get a lot of SUVs in this game. So, what I'm going to talk about is the Lamborghini Urus STX concept. Of course, yes, I did say concept again, but we do have the Lamborghini Urus already in the game. But I will also say this, we already have... Two different versions of the Urus in the game and them adding a third one I do not see coming but essentially this is a race car version of the Lamborghini Urus I think it's absolutely awesome it's big it's muddy it's off-roady I think it would be awesome to see this thing come into the game it really really would have a nice place with all the off-road stuff that's available but yeah Honestly, that, that's one idea. I will say when it comes to Lamborghini, though, I am leaning more towards the Performante. So anyway, though, that's where I'm going to wrap things up for today. Leave a comment down below and let me know what do you guys think of this Torben Tuesday. I know it was very vague, and I might have said I don't know a lot because, let's be honest, a lot of these clues were pretty damn hard. If you guys have any ideas of what some of the clues were that I had no clue on, leave a comment down below as I'm curious to hear what you guys got to say. As well, if you want to, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at twitter.com forward slash girl from 13 in Instagram.com forward slash Garrett413. And if you guys have liked this video, go make sure to hit that like button down below for us because you guys already know your support is so greatly appreciated. And make sure to subscribe for more videos come out all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.